In this video, we'll look at part one of the precipitation reaction and limiting reagent lab. In this part, we're going to make two solutions, solution A and solution B. Solution A is gonna be made of cobalt two nitrate hexahydrate and water. We're gonna make this solution by starting out with approximately one gram of the cobalt two nitrate hexahydrate. I've measured out a representative sample here on the balance. And you can see what the solid looks like. I then take that solid and put it into a 50 milliliter beaker with approximately 20 milliliters of water and swirl to dissolve. I do a similar procedure to generate solution B, our sodium phosphate solution. Again, I measure out approximately a gram of our sodium phosphate and I dissolve it in 20 milliliters of water. You can see the exact amounts that I used up here on the board for all of our materials that I've just referenced. In the next portion of this lab, we're going to mix approximately half of solutions A and B into beaker C. Now I wanna make sure I don't overdo this. So while I could estimate it, I'm going to actually measure out 10 milliliters of solution A and pour that into beaker C. I'm going to do the same. Here I've got a fresh graduated cylinder with solution B. I'll pour this into beaker C. Compare these three solutions. Here we can see solution A. Here's solution B. And here's the contents of beaker C. What we want to do next is separate the contents of beaker C into the solid and the supernate. We wanna separate out the two different phases of this mixture. To do this, I'm going to take a piece of fluted filter paper, which is just a flat piece of filter paper that's been folded up, a funnel, and an additional beaker, which we're gonna call beaker D. Beaker D is gonna collect our supernate, the liquid portion, of our mixture. So I'm just going to take beaker C, I'm going to pour it into my filter paper. So now the mixture begins to separate. This process can take some time, letting all of the liquid drain pass the solid through the filter paper. You can see this happening down here on the bottom as the liquid slowly drains out past the filter paper. You can see it waggling around in there. Now to speed this process up for the purposes of our video, I've preset a solution where I've already let this all filter out. So you can see here, I've got my filter paper now with no liquid left into it, just a bunch of solid coating the bottom of my filter paper. Take that out and look at it. You still see it's a little wet. And my supernatant that's been separated out. Now what I want to do is I want to take this supernatant and I want to separate it into two different containers so that I can test it in order to figure out what's in it. I'm going to break this up into two different beakers which I've labeled D sub A and D sub B. Now 
I just want to mix them up and split it up about 50-50. extra here. That looks about even. Now to solution D sub A, I'm going to add the rest of solution A, see what happens. To D sub B, I'm going to add the rest of solution B and see what happens. So again, here's solution A. Let's add that to D sub A. We can see our result when I added solution A to our supernatant, the contents of beaker D. Now to D sub B, let's add the remainder of our B solution. And here's what that looks like. D sub B, you can see our solution sitting down here in the bottom. Now D sub A looked quite different from D sub B. What does this difference tell you about what was in the supernatant that was available to react?